Hello friends and welcome to this new session of Kubernetes troubleshooting. So this is the day 5 and uh, we come with a new error. My name is Alok Kumar and we are going to do a troubleshooting on the error is sufficient uh, resources to schedule a pod. Okay, so these types of error in the Kubernetes typically occurs uh, when the Kubernetes scheduler cannot find a node with enough available resources. You can say the CPU or the memory to allocate uh, or you can say accommodate the resource uh, request specified by the pod. Okay, so in the screen you can see that we have a deployment file where we have some resource limited we can see in the demo as well uh, we applied that deployment and its uh, deployment get created but the pod is currently in the pending state okay when we describe the pod we have the reason of uh, type a failed scheduling and the failed scheduling may be uh, due to different different reason but we are mainly concerned about the resources okay so um, if there is an insufficient memory or insufficient cpu we are going to discuss on th those aspects okay the resource limited of uh, of the cluster also if it get exhausted okay so the common cause if you can say to for the failed scheduling this includes the resource uh, request exceeded node capacity Okay, so in this case, the sum of the resource request CPU or memory specified in the pods uh, YAML definition file exceeds the available capacity of any node in the cluster. Okay, so the next one is a cluster resource exhausted. Okay, so the cluster as a whole, you can say, may not have the enough uh, total resources to accommodate the pod. Uh, specifically, uh, if the cluster is heavily utilized or if there are insufficient nodes or uh, the third one is the resource limits. Uh, in that case, the resource limits uh, are set for a particular namespace because you can allocate the resources on the basis of namespaces also uh, or individual pods. The scheduler may not be able to find the suitable node that can meet both the pod resources request and its resource limit there might be different different reason for the similar error like in the um, pod affinity or anti affinity rules the pod affinity or anti affinity rules may now may restrict the scheduled options for placing the pod on a node making it more difficult to find a suitable node with available resources or sometimes the node selector constraint okay so we are very specific at that time that this particular pod needs to be uh, scheduled on a particular node only so if uh, the pod specified node selectors that are too restrictive it may uh, limit the scheduler ab ability to find the suitable node with available resources we also have um, some problem with the taint and tolerations and that also produce a similar reason of the failure okay uh, in that case the nodes uh, have the taint applied and the pod does not have the corresponding tolerations it may limit the scheduler choice for scheduling the pods and also horizontal pod auto scalar hpa configurations may result in sudden resources demand that exceed the level capacity of the cluster leading to scheduling the uh, failures okay so th these are the common cause uh, which uh, which may um, uh, provide the reason of the failed scheduling now the questions arise here is how to solve the these types of error insufficient resources to schedule the pods so in that case we can uh, perform some actions like uh, adjust the resource request and limit in the pod uh, yaml definitions to be more realistic and within the available resources of your cluster add more nodes to the cluster to increase its capacity okay uh, we can opt uh, you also um, uh, do some actions in optimizing the resource uses by identifying and uh, scaling down the un unnecessary or over provisioned pods also implement cluster auto scaling to um, uh, automatically add or remove nodes based on the resource demand time to time we will we do a review also and uh, accordingly adjust any affinity and t affinity rules node selector taint or tolerations 
but uh, this particular video is mainly concerned on the resources utilizations okay so the anti affinity or affinity node selector stain tolerations that may be limited uh, to the scheduler uh, options for placing the pods okay so we are going to see in the demo um, so what we have the deployment file and how it's uh, configured we will uh, try to replicate this problem and then we will fix accordingly so as i mentioned uh, we have two nodes here and uh, which is of t2 uh, small okay so let me jump to the instance here cube ctl get node okay so you can find the two nodes here both of them are t uh, t2 uh, small okay and as i mentioned t2 uh, small have one vcpu and two ram we can check this by executing the uh, or describing the any of the node here let me copy it cube ctl okay and describe node with the node name here okay so here you can see that uh, in the in the node for the how much uh, capacity it have so one vcpu and memory is uh, as mentioned uh, here as well to two uh, gigabyte okay the same may mentioned here as well okay one vcpu and so the pod of uh, this particular type of resources we can deploy into the particular node We have one deployment file let me catch it so you can see that we uh, have the manifest file of with name deployment okay and uh, this file this will create a deployment of web deployment have the replica account of one and this is a match selector okay my resources and uh, the specifications we are using the nginx okay the problem with this manifest file is that it requests more resources memory and cpu you can see here 2 gigabyte and 2 vcpu okay for the nginx uh, container and that are typically available in the kubernetes cluster so it requests 2 gigabyte or you can say 2 gig uh, of memory and uh, 2 cpu core for the nginx container these resource requests are likely to be exceeded the capacity of most kubernetes cluster node because it is the node uh, is of to two dot small which can lead uh, to the uh, error uh, is sufficient resources uh, to schedule a pod when attempting to deploy this manifest file okay so you can see that uh, the memory is of two gigabyte okay let me deploy it qctl apply minus f deployment so you can see that the pod get deployed qctl get pod so it is currently in the pending state let me describe this pod with pod name so you have the reason that it's failed to schedule okay and uh, the reason is uh, there is two nodes but uh, none of the nodes is available to deploy this pod because of uh, insufficient cpu insufficient memory so what we are going to do we are going to just modify this file to fix this problem uh, we need to adjust the resource resource request uh, to value that are most reasonable okay so vi dot deployment uh, going to the insert mode here i am going to instead of 2000 i am using 500 okay and for the memory also only 0.5 let me save it 
qctl apply minus f deployment so it's get configured qctl get pod so you can see that uh, the pod uh, started okay so it's it's now running so we can change the replica also like we have two nodes and none of the pod is currently running only one pod is running qctl get pod output of void okay so only one pod is running and it's running on the this particular uh, node so what i am going to do let me uh, create a replica of two vi deployment and now going to insert mode and create two so only one pod will get deploy in a particular node because the, it's not uh, possible to deploy the two nodes in the single node because it will it will again exceed the limit okay because as you already seen that the memory uh, is only of 900 it's not uh, more than uh, 900 so i will show you as well again qctl get pod so both the pod are running qctl get pod output of node wide just to check that uh, each of the pods is get deployed into different different node and if you describe any of the node here Uh, you can find it's only uh, keep uh, a CPU of 940M although it's uh, of uh, one VCP virtual CPU but it only have the limit of 940 that's why we can't uh, deploy uh, two pod of 500M uh, into, into into a single uh, single node that's why the scheduler will uh, deploy the pods in a different node so hope this video helps you to understand this particular error and how we can we are going to fix it and the possible reason for this particular problem if you like my video please subscribe to my channel it will always motivate me share this channel link with your friends and if you have any questions related with this video or any of the video you can put your message in the comment sections i will try to reply have a nice day take care